I like Gilbert, he's got a mind of his own. <laughs> hey buddy. I'm going to tell you a story today that comes from the Bible. It's about a little boy who, uh, and I might have told this before, I can't remember because I'm old. <laughs> uh, about a little boy who heard about this man Jesus and heard all the adults talking about him. And his wish was to be able to see him and hear him talk. Because all the adults kept saying that they never heard anybody talk the way Jesus talked. And that when he talked, that even little children liked to hear him to keep their attention. Well, one day, he heard that Jesus was going to be in town. And he asked his mother if he could go. And so she packed him a lunch. And he took the lunch with him because sometimes, you know, when Jesus talked, if the people were willing to hear it, he would teach them as long as they would sit there and listen. And sometimes they could sit there for a long time. So the little boy brought his packed lunch. And Jesus was teaching. And Jesus had taught the people for a long time. And it was getting late in the evening. And his disciples said to him, send the people away so they can go get some food. And Jesus said to them, you feed them. You know how many people there were? Look around you. You think you could feed all these people in this church here? You think you could? Okay, listen. When when Jesus told his disciples that, there were 5,000 men, plus women and children. So there were thousands and thousands and thousands of people. You think you could feed them? I don't think so either. So listen, he tells his disciples, you give them something to eat. And the disciples look at him and go, how are we going to feed this great multitude? And he asked them, what do we have? And so they went out into the crowd to see how much food they had. And you know what they came up with? This little boy's packed lunch. He had a couple of fish and some small loaves of bread. But you know what? A couple of fish and small loaves of bread are enough for Jesus to do whatever he wants. It didn't matter whether there was one person there or 10,000 there. That was enough for him to feed. So the little boy came to the front, gave Jesus his lunch, and it was really exciting because not only did he get to hear Jesus teach, he got to help him. You think you would like to do that? No? You think that'd be pretty cool to actually see somebody take your lunch that's tiny and small, only enough for you, and feed 5,000 people with it? So I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you adults this question as well. When I grew up, in the church that I went to as a child. We were told these stories, but we were told that they were only stories. And that most of the stories in the Bible were just that, just stories. So listen, when you hear one man taking uh, five loaves and two fishes and feeding 5,000 people, do you think that it's true? What do you think, Junior? Don't you think that's kind of hard to believe? Five thousand men and women and children. But listen, this is 
This is why we come to church, and this is why we pray to Jesus. This is why we believe in Jesus. Because we believe that He's able to do what we can't even think is, is possible. Okay? Jesus is the God of the impossible. As you continue to grow up, you continue to go to school, and maybe you have a test at school that you're thinking, I'll never pass this. Or you have kids at school that are giving you a hard time, and you're thinking, nothing can help me. Jesus is not only there to listen to you, but he's there to also help you. Turn around again and look at all these old people here. <laughs> yeah, look at them. Well, look at me because I'm old too. I can tell you from hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times this has happened in my life, that when I faced a situation that I couldn't figure out what to do, that I had either no way to fix it, I was going to get in a lot of trouble if I didn't, that every time I cried out to Jesus and asked Him for His help, He never let me down that once. I can tell you one example. I was driving down the road and I have a pickup truck and a big dump trailer. In the back of that dump trailer, I had my bobcat. And so the weight of this thing was probably almost 20,000 pounds. Now, Ray, are you familiar with three-quarter ton pickup trucks? Yeah. And what the rating of what they're able to tow is? Oh, yeah. Now, this pickup truck has a utility bed on the back, and the utility bed takes up all the weight for its towing capacity. But I had this thing, and I blew it. I think I blew a tire. Something happened where the trailer started to fishtail. Ever had that happen? <coughs> Right? You know what that's like? Yeah. <laughs> when it starts to fishtail like this, there's a certain point that if that trailer gets beyond, you're not getting it back. And you're going to wreck. And a lot of times with that kind of weight, it either makes you slide or you flip. And because the rope was dry, I knew that I was going to flip. And where I was at, it would cause other people to be involved in this accident. <clears throat> and I tried to keep it under control, and racing went this side, went this side, and out of the corner of your eye, when you look in your rearview mirror, you can see it coming this way, and you see it coming that way, you know you're in trouble. But you can actually feel there's a certain point where it gets to that point. You're not getting back. And I cried out, Jesus, help me. And the next thing I know, I stopped, and I'm on the side of the road. Amen. And I can't explain to you how that happened. It says that Jesus hears you, and Jesus will answer prayers, and he's always there for you. Okay? Did you hear Gilbert? Yes. Amen. What'd you say, Gilbert, one more time? Sure. Amen. What'd you say? Amen. 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 Okay, you go back to your seats. <laughs> Just Bob.